This is how you track an event on Facebook. It's gonna be a quick whistle stop tour. So if you have any questions, if we don't give you everything you need, do drop a comment and I will respond within a couple of hours. Events on Facebook are incredibly important because we need to be able to track exactly what we're doing so we know that things are actually performing the way we want. Now, if you set up Conversion API, which our advice on this channel is that you always do that and you have a pixel, so you have a nice triangulation between between your pixel, the website and conversion API, then you're gonna have certain automatic events that are tracked for you. But there might be other stuff uh, that you want to track. And the way to do that is what I'm gonna show you here. So let's dive into the laptop and I'll show you how quickly. So in here, we have one of our client accounts. We're actually mostly doing lead generation for this client, which is why um, I actually have some events that I can go in and set up. So you come to the events manager as shown here. And that will load us up a few moments later there we go uh, we've got a couple of pixels going because we've uh, got uh, different events on different websites that we are tracking and we are going to here you can see all the events that are already set up now these are automatic events that have been set up um, by the conversion api that we've established like i said i would always recommend you get that going what we're gonna do, so to set up a custom event, it used to always be down here, um, but for some reason, Facebook moved that because they like to move things, they like to keep us on our toes. So what we're now gonna do is we're gonna find it up here. So you click on Manage Integrations, you find the Metapixel, and you hit the drop down and select Open Event Setup Tool. That will open up this box. We're gonna click on Open Event Setup Tool, and we're gonna drop our website into there. So that will open up the website and this little dialog box. If this dialog box doesn't open up, then leave a comment in the box below and we can maybe troubleshoot to see why that is because it means that something has gone wrong during your event setup tool, during your pixel setup, sorry, and during your conversion API. So it might be that you need to use certain plugins and to, to overcome this integration issue, but we'll pretend that it's all gonna work smoothly because nine times out of 10, it does. Um, now, what you have to do here is if you select the page where you want the event to track. So I don't have an event tracking for this client at the moment, um, which is the contact button, this send inquiry button here. So when somebody wants to make contact with a business, they have to fill out their details and how they can help. And then they have to click this button. And importantly, this button is the last button in the process so somebody can get in contact with them. Um, there's no point or, there is point measuring the various stages of your funnel because then you can notice the attrition rate and that gives you good data for your conversion rate optimization. But here we just want to see how many people are making inquiries because when we run certain advertising, we want to know how that affects inquiry development. So what we'll do is we'll click at, uh, the track new button. We click select inquiry, uh, send inquiry, sorry. And then we have to choose the event and that will be contact. Unfortunately, we can't customize these. We, I don't know why it would seem something easy that Facebook could do, but we can't customize them. We have to select from the drop-down list, which can, depending on what you're tracking, create problems. But we're gonna select contact. We're gonna click confirm. And there it is. Contact is now established. We can see the little tick above the button. Uh, if you want to then select uh, other events, then that's absolutely fine. You can go ahead and do that. Or it might be certain page visits that you want to track. You might want to track everybody that goes to their B2B software solutions page specifically. And in that case, you would navigate to the page, click track URL. You can already see that it equals that it is put in there or you can say URL contains. So this might be if somebody goes to a thank you page. After a thank you page, it will generally have a forward slash and then the unique number code. Um, so you could have a URL contains audiotelligence.com forward slash thank you. And then that's it because everything that contains that section of the URL can be tracked as whatever you want it to be tracked. Okay. Um, so that could be, it could be search, it could be start trial, whatever you want to be. We click submit, uh, finish setup and finish. Was it helpful? Yes, you were Facebook. Thank you very much. And then done. And that's it. 
Now, don't worry that it doesn't appear down here straight away. It does take time for that to pull through. It will appear there shortly, so don't panic. Uh, so that's how you set up a custom conversion event. Uh, if you want to track something with a moving value, like a sale, slightly different, but follow the channel. We'll cover that in other videos. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any problems with that. I'll get back to you in a couple of hours, and we'll see you next time.